Well, good morning and welcome back to another episode of the Angler's Logbook. We are back here at the Tekapo Canals and although it is an overcast day today, um, there is only just a little bit of breeze blowing at the moment and so the plan is to get out here and drift some eggs while the current is flowing a little bit. The real goal for today is to catch some fish to take home. We started up a page recently on Instagram, if you've seen it, it's called The Angler's Kitchen, but essentially we cook up our wild caught or hunted meat and so the plan today is to get a nice trout or a salmon to take home and I uh, wouldn't complain if we get onto one of those monster trout that lives in this canal. So uh, we'll fish here for a wee bit now, uh, drift some eggs through and see if we can get hooked up to some nice fish. Well I'm already freezing, it's uh, pretty cold but that breeze has died off a little bit while I've been tying up um, my equipment. First up we're going to run a two egg setup. So we've got that chartreuse with an orange dot, one of my favourites as you might know if you watch some of our videos. And then also got this wee pink egg as well, which Brendan, who's one of our uh, followers and subscribers, sent us um, maybe about a year ago. And we've been using a few of those um, ever since. But um, big shout out to you Brendan, uh, thanks for sending that out to us. And uh, it's time to get this line wet, get it in the water, get hooked up to a nice big fish. Well, while we're walking along here waiting for something to bite, thought I'd let you know if you haven't um, done this technique before, uh, then you can go and check out one of our recent episodes. Uh, we were out here with Fish the Drift, who is a bit of an expert when it comes to this style of fishing, and he gave us a full run through on how to fish this method. Um, I'll put a card up in the corner if you do want to check that out. Um, but yeah, it tells you everything you need to know to get started in egg rolling and then beyond that you really just need to get out here, give it a go for yourself and learn what works and what doesn't. Seems like we've got pretty good flow here this morning. Um, it's always one of those finicky things when you fish the canals is to try and find where the water's flowing, especially if you want to do this style of fishing. Uh, but this morning it's actually flowing uh, better than I would have expected this time of year. Uh, we're just coming into winter now, the weather's just starting to cool off. Um, and so I'm hoping the fishing is a little bit hotter than uh, the last couple of trips we've had here. I think we've been here maybe two or three times this year so far. And um, that last time we got into some pretty good salmon, uh, but the trout fishing was pretty non-existent. Um, so hoping this will be the, the start of things to come for winter. I think I just had a touch there as well. Bit hard to multitask uh, filming and uh, fishing and not get run over on <laughs> with any cars coming along here. All right, back with you. Sorry, <laughs> it's pretty hard to walk along here, film and keep tension on your line and try and strike when the fish hit. Um, but yeah, don't know where I got to there. Um, but I'm hoping today that we can get onto some trout down here. Um, yeah, that would be really cool. Um, even if we can get a nice wee eater around that like six to eight pound mark would be awesome. Um, yeah, always good fun to, to take. And this morning we're using this new line from uh, Platypus. Uh, it's the fluorocarbon six pound. And so really keen to try and get hooked up to a nice fish and test it out. We'll keep walking, a bit of walking today, uh, I'm sure. But um, we'll try and make the most of it while this flow's going. See if we can get onto something soon. Well we had a bit of a look down uh, that canal but it didn't really look uh, good anywhere we went so just relocated as we'd intended uh, down to a different stretch of the canal now and uh, the flow is definitely a little bit slower here so um, we'll give the egg rolling a little bit of a go here but um, I suspect it might not be flowing enough for that and so we might swap over to soft baits and try and target some salmon in a minute but we'll uh, chuck the eggs in the water and see if we can uh, get hooked up to a trout first. Well, it's the old story, the canal stopped flowing uh, just as we started fishing here. Tried a couple of drifts, but unfortunately that flow's just not enough. We're just getting hung up in the weeds, and so I think what I'm going to do is head along the canal a little bit further and get into some soft baiting. The only challenge is it is a Saturday, so the canal's packed. Um, it seems like everyone's fighting now about the canals, and uh, the word is there's a lot of salmon around, as you would have seen in our last video. But I'm going to go try and get into a spot where we fished last time um, and go onto those seven. But otherwise, we'll cruise around and find somewhere where we can chuck these soft baits about. Well, 
All right, well, we made it here. Initial thoughts are that it looks a lot like a salmon farm, doesn't it? You got cages all around here, which I think is gonna make it pretty tricky to land a fish if we get one on. Um, but I think we should be able to put the brakes on it with this Akuma uh, set up. But yeah, it'll be a bit of a challenge anyway, trying to keep the fish away from there. But um, we'll get all the gear set up, chuck a soft bait in, and hopefully we're into the fish. Tell you what, the Sakuma backpack definitely made things easier to uh, get our set up down here. But um, now that we're down here, just rigged up this uh, Savage Gear soft bait. This one is without a doubt my favourite soft bait for salmon. I don't actually know what it's called, it is by Savage though. Um, but it's like this sort of yellow, white, sort of glow colour, and it is deadly on the salmon. I've caught so many big salmon um, here at the hydro canals on this. Um, it's what we caught uh, a couple of them on that last episode with and um, we'll chuck that out there first see if the salmon in this spot are going to take it this afternoon it's definitely warming up though, sun's out a couple hours to do it, let's go Well we couldn't leave the episode there for you guys because obviously an episode without fish isn't as exciting uh, but we're back here at the canals, it's about probably six weeks later um, than the last shots you saw but uh, we're back here filming a little bit of content for Akuma here with uh, Fish the Drift and he's just landed a cracker of a trout, it was a really nice one, I won't give away how heavy it is but it was a beautiful fish. Uh, we're here filming some of the new season gear with Akuma like I said. This is the UXR rod we're using today and it is a sensational rod. It is at the top end of their lineup so of course you'd expect it to be good but we've been using this for the last couple of days here and it's so lightweight and has uh, such a nice balance to it. I'm still trying to get a big fish myself on it. Had a couple of small uh, trout and salmon on it but um, sensational rod. Obviously with the ITX reel uh, it's pretty awesome. On Lance's UXR rod he has the new um, Kmar reel, so this is a refresh of uh, the old Kmar, but it has um, been completely rebuilt basically. Awesome mechanisms in it, and I've had a bit of a play with that as well, and it is so smooth and so good. So awesome to try out some of this new gear, and even better when the fish are biting, but uh, we'll roll on the clips now of uh, Lance's awesome trout. Fish. 